Now this is our heavy duty S500 drill stand. And it's a very heavy duty machine. You can drill up to 500 millimeters per course with this machine. That's how we created it. And although it is very heavy duty and very strong, it has a lot of special features. It actually isn't so hard to move around the job site. It's got, it's got wheels and it's got buttress bars uh, for your uh, angle adjustment. And you also have uh, a very, very high performance roller type carriage support system, which gives you low friction and movement of your carriage at the same time, giving you excellent uh, control where you have very little uh, or zero play, actually. And these are adjustable as well. To release the carriage lock, you just slide the slider over. And sometimes it helps to wiggle the handle a little bit to loosen the lock. And then sometimes it won't lock you. Move just a little bit. And that allows it to lock. A number of other features that are very important. We have here actually a built-in gear reduction system, which makes this quite a special machine. I'll show you on the other side. You can see on the, on the other side there's only one drop shaft, that's a one-to-one. -one. But on this side, in addition to the one-to-one, -one, you have a gear reduction spindle, which is 3.3 to one rather than one-to-one. -one. So you can see it makes it much easier to move when you're using a very large drill net. You can see it moves very slowly, so it's very low gear, as opposed to one-to-one, -to -one, which moves that much in one rotation. So it's it's a really nice feature when you're drilling with a very large core bed. I'll move it back around again. And we also have the ability to change our angle. We've got our drilling angle. And you can see there's a scale there. With double buttress bars. And thread. And then you can use, just according to your scale, you can adjust your angle. Put it at 50. your rollers, you'll notice that the two on the left are on eccentric and they have a special mark on the bolt where the other side is plain. So these are not adjustable. You just adjust the ones on this side. And if you can, with your carriage locked, if you can turn the roller, you know it's too loose. And so you take your 24 millimeter wrench and turn until it stops. and then go about another further eighth of a turn. And to make sure it isn't too tight, you unlock your carriage and see that it moves freely. The other thing uh, when you're mounting the machine, of course, we have our, uh, our leveling screws and those are just used in case you have an uneven surface. You can adjust these to whatever is necessary to make it level and you're probably wanting to be using a spirit level on your column. And you adjust it to make sure you're perfectly level so you have a nice straight hole. And you, uh, you can relax them after as, as uh, an adjustment as needed before you final tighten your, your drill stand down. Of course you're using, you're using a, something like an optional block to be uh, tensioning it. Uh, so say you have to you were drilling with a 500 Bit, the bit will be would not have enough clearance to mount, so you have to mount in your, your spacer. I'll just take one of these spacers as an example. I'll take this uh, the 150. And all you do is you 
fit the dovetail in, just as if you're mounting a, a drill motor, and then you fasten both lock bolts. So you're going to have to do your layout and you measure the distance from the center of your intended hole to where you're going to set your anchor and it depends on the size of your stand, you can figure it out. So here we'll, there, if there's a few tools that you're going to need before you begin. First, you're going to need a rotary hammer and you're going to have to have the right size drill bit for your drop-in anchor and, and you should drill to the correct depth and then you drive in your anchor with your with a driving tool for the anchor and a, a sledgehammer. And then for mounting the, the, the drill to the drill stand, you'll need a length of thread rod and a nut, and also uh, a mounting plate. This is our optional mounting plate, and you can see it's, it's, a, it's as strong as possible for giving a really secure mounting to the workpiece. And also, in your setup, you'll, call, you'll need a tape measure to measure where to put your hole, and you'll if, if it's crucial, the alignment of your hole, you'll need to have some kind of a spirit level for aligning your stand before you finally tighten it down onto the workpiece. And so, first we'll, do, we'll, we'll begin by drilling our, our hole for our drop-in anchor. sure the hole is completely clean, free of any dust, to make sure it has a good hole. Otherwise it may come loose when you're operating, that would not be good. Now to set your anchor, you use this special setting tool so you can drive it into the hole without damaging the threads. And you just take your sledgehammer and drive it into the hole. Now you mount your stand over the anchor in the position you want. You grab your mounting plate. And put in your threaded rod. And before you final tighten it, you want to make sure your your stand is level, so put your level on there. Adjust your leveling bolts as needed. And once you've got it level, you final tighten it. And that's tight, and you're ready to drill. 